The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says a large quantity of contaminated water was found in a tunnel below a building that stores highly radioactive water. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, is investigating how about 230 tons of water got into the tunnel. TEPCO says a worker found the water on Sunday. The water reportedly was about 50 centimeters to 3 meters deep throughout the 54-meter long tunnel. The utility says the level of radiation at the surface of the water is 3 millisieverts per hour. That's just a fraction of the level of the highly radioactive water stored in the waste processing facility above. TEPCO speculates that radioactive water from the processing facility may have been diluted by groundwater after it flowed into the tunnel. The utility says the tunnel is not connected to the sea. The discovery raises questions about TEPCO's inspection and management capabilities because the firm failed to notice the water in the tunnel after the waste processing facility was completed in April. The Japanese government will pay to decontaminate more than 100 municipalities in eastern Japan, but the plan is causing concerns in the communities. The Environment Ministry says it will clean up to 102 municipalities in eight prefectures with radiation levels above one millisievert per year. In Oshu City, Iwate Prefecture, cattle farmers say they are worried that consumers will avoid all beef produced from those designated areas. Aizu Wakamatsu City in Fukushima Prefecture is concerned that its tourism industry will be hurt if it's labeled as a contaminated area. On the other hand, the residents in areas of the city with less than one millisievert per year say it's unfair that they cannot receive funds for decontamination work.